Alright gang. I'm up show y'all where I'm at first. I'm at Reading. I'm down here in um West Palm Beach, Florida. I made it down here. So I'm here at my first drop. Um I guess y'all this the season where I gotta try to talk to y'all while I work at the same time. Y'all got to bear with me. Mine everywhere. Uh, skeet up there in the Carolinas going crazy. I know y'all see him. He from Tennessee, South Carolina, North. I can't even keep up now. So I think he's on a North Carolina to North Carolina run now. He just picked up on um, and talk about his load. He just picked up. Um, once he got there to pick up, the people was like they. Well, he got loaded, strapped down. They get gone about they gone about his business or whatever. And uh, let me get my mind right, gang. He got loaded up. And they added an extra load on them. They initially told them the load was going to the same address, but which we didn't lock in on no confirmation rate on no double load. So they they agreed on a certain number. Then to come to find out, by the time he got ready to get loaded up, it's going to two two separate addresses. So we had to get in touch. Shout out to the dispatcher, man. That's why I say we got to miss the flake with the soda, man. So we're going to talk about the dispatcher. The dispatcher got online, made sure Skeet got some more money, man. So the dispatcher worked, y'all. So y'all, y'all, hey, man, I'm going to be the testimony for y'all. I'm going to be y'all trial and error. Y'all can see what I go through, man. The dispatcher got online and made sure Skeet got some more money for that one pick, two drops, you know. So that, that's his job. That's what he did. And um, when I say Mr. Flake with the soda, I still got to keep my broker. My broker got me a double load coming to Florida, one dropping right here to West Palm Beach. Um, this other one going down to, uh, that buddy, uh, this other one going down to Homestead. So I guess the guy finna come tell me what to do, where to pull for this um, truck by them. Tell y'all the rest of the load my dis my, where my broker got me. Outside of my dispatcher, y'all give me a minute. All right, all right, y'all, I'm back, man. Just had to talk to him to tell me where to pull at. Pull at with this load. So I, I told y'all this the season where a lot of times I'm finna have to talk. I'm about to have to talk to y'all while I do some maneuvering. Cause still, I still got to get paperwork in. Still got to get skeet paperwork in. I gotta get. I got. Oh, no copyright. I gotta get my paperwork in. I'm still networking with my dispatcher and my broker at the same time. Both of them was up this morning on my line. So we working around here, man. That's what you call mixing the flake with the soda. I'll say it one more time for you. Yeah, man. The man gonna try me at me. Can I swing this through? Man, come on, man. Why I'm gonna wreck it, man. Do that. But yeah, so, um. Oh, yeah, I squeezed through that. So, and, um, yeah, I got up. So all my runs for this week. Um, this little triangle run is down to um, Florida. I actually know it's hard to get some out of Florida, y'all. I got some picking up by Orlando, going to a part of South Carolina, which will leave me two hours away from home. So I got some coming back out of here. I got a double load coming down. Got some coming back out of here. So all that from my dispatcher, man. So they say never leave your main for your side piece, man. That's rule number one, man. So. I can't leave my dispatcher and, I'm, and, I, and, and I love I mean I can't leave my broker and I love my dispatcher I love hey man we rocking and rolling man I like when my I like when my phone go to ring early in the morning man remind me of the old trap days but we truck trapping now man that's the thing of the past but I like when my phone go to bank we working around here but yeah y'all can see Skeet bouncing around up there man Skeet been going crazy too man so uh so after I drop this today, gang, um, I got this second load to go drop, maybe two hours and a half away on down to Homestead, past Miami, and I'm a, and I'm gonna chill out, rest it up to the next morning, and I'm getting up, going up towards Orlando to pick up that load, going to South Carolina for the next for that for the next day after. So we rocking and rolling, man. Um, Skeet should do a straight through with this. I know y'all see these bundles of pipe. He got the video before this. They added something else. Blowing, somebody blowing at me. Yeah, they added something else. I don't know who blowing. Oh, put it right there. Oh. So that's what we got going on, gang. Man. So we truck truck, man. I'm gonna show y'all what we got when I get this unloaded. Let me go on and get it unstrapped. We say finna grab the fork lift. 
Y'all hold tight, man. Step by step, man. Play by play. Let's get it. All right, gang. Gotta let y'all start hearing some of this conversation, man. That's my broker working. That's why I keep telling you, man. I can't put my eggs in one basket just dealing with this. My broker, he been weathering me through the storm. Like I told y'all, I explained to my dispatcher. Like now, I just got off the phone with my broker. He got something lined up, a load that's specifically assigned to him. And he kind of let me, um, pretty much let, let me make my own price on it, you know, because so, I've been rocking so hard. He was like, what you want to do it? So it's a load coming from Alabama going down to a part of Florida, picks right back up at that same location, coming right back to Alabama. You know, it, so it's a, round, it's a round trip. So he kind of let me ballpark. I'm going to see if I'm going to lock in on it. Um, I told him either way, if we got to keep going back and forth, negotiating on some numbers. And I told him the number I was at, um, we don't want to lose this load because it's, it's an easy load. I think like 2,500 pound load. So, you know, it always be a light snack. Um, so this is what we got going on. We just had to pull some rabbit out the hat to get this on. Oh, I know my back on the scrub coming out of here. Um, getting that, I don't know my back. Yep, and this scrub. Uh, yeah, to get pull the rabbit out the hat to get that box off the back because it was kind of leaning forward while they was raising the forks. I wanted to show you guys, but I didn't want to put that camera on them and, and make them extra nervous. Uh, while we had to sit one man on the end of it, one of their workers on the end, so it went tilt all, all the way over until we got it off. So we worked it out, gang. Um, we headed down the homestead. Now, like I say, this load I just delivered now, um, this load I just delivered was due tomorrow. But I did get on the phone, touch base with the receiver, let them know um, on some ways out. So be expecting this delivery. So they was they was cool with it. You know, anything early, sometimes a plus, sometimes receivers got a problem with, you know, taking um delivery. I need some gas, y'all. I need some diesel. Taking delivery um early because they don't have anything in place for fort lifts or cranes or whatever they need to unload. So this is what we got going on, man. This the season that I cried about, that I prayed for, and it's coming. Um, Y'all got to bear with me, especially with the comments. Um, I get phone calls, 10 messages. Um, I'm kind of overwhelmed with work, you know, then adding on. Um, I got a couple guys been hitting me up about doing the lease. You know, right now, I'm still just one person, gang, so I'm doing a lot. So once I get out this truck, I can run the business like it's supposed to be ran. So by me, I'm still running loads myself and um, <clears throat> about to add a couple of trucks to the fleet as well. So once I get out of this truck and I can handle the business, and, you know, I can quarterback the thing and let um, my broker and um, my broker and my dispatcher Bill Bella check at the same time and I can handle the rest, I can, I can, start, <clears throat> I can start growing like I supposed to, y'all. So y'all bear with me. I appreciate, you know, people want to come on the super set, hit me up. I get back at you, let you know. Um, estimated time, I'm going to start adding on for a lot of lease on because it's a whole lot of paperwork. Um, it's a whole lot of insurance. It's a whole lot of, um, we got to do laws. We got to get mad. It's a lot. So it's a, it's a process, you know. Um, me and Skeet got, we got hats and shirts coming. Y'all see me and Skeet with our hats and shirts. We getting murk looking, looking on clocking. No, I ain't going too bad. Motorcycle sitting under the tree clocking. Down here in Florida, they trying to get a bag, y'all. But yeah, so um, I appreciate everybody, man. They kind of get overwhelming. Like now I had to do so many. I got to keep talking to my broker dispatch, trying to get ready to lock in on different loads and, and, and whatnot and uh, put my paperwork in and make sure everybody good. So I ain't crying about it. You know, it get overwhelming and Hey man, this 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 thing we pray we ask God for, so we're gonna make it do what it do, man. So I'm headed down to my homestead, um, homestead, Florida, get this little snack dropped off, man, so I could get bucket naked. And I'm gonna head back north. I got something by Orlando. I'm picking up going to a part of South Carolina, take me back home for the weekend. Um about to get on the horn, see how long it's gonna take ski. I think that little ski just got those little plastic piping. He could do that straight through. That's a little short run, a little snack for him. So we finna get everything in order, man. I, I gotta get me something to eat, something to drink. Oh Lord, I think I, I'm talking to y'all, man. I missed a turn, got my navigation turned down. 
Man, let me get right, man. I didn't miss the turn, man. Let me get on down. I'm gonna show y'all my drop off, man, at Homestead, man. We truck trapping. I'm missing turns off to y'all. Trying to get y'all this game. Get y'all this flavor, man. And what it is, man. We're gonna get back at y'all. Let's get it. in homestead florida i already went in and talked to him i'm in the right place um i hate coming to these plants this is a very if you look up homestead uh what is fpl facility boy this is a big 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 plant like i was just riding through this whole plant for a long time but i found the right building y'all so i'm finna get ready to get this thing unstrapped untarped rolled up we're gonna roll the fort lift down the ramp and come get me man um, as I've been riding, y'all, I like to share how I be feeling, man. I've been really overwhelmed with work and all the opportunities coming at me with loads and opportunities opportunities to grow. Like, it, it feel good, but I, I really want to be sitting down where I can process everything to get everything done and get every. I got so much paperwork to put in. I got to unload this. Like I say, I put in two paperwork for the day. I got three more to put in. Skeet got two. I got one. Uh, I got to send Skeet some more paperwork for tomorrow. He get, he coming from um, North Carolina. He got a load coming down to Florida. I'm coming from Florida, picking up by Orlando, going back up to South Carolina, almost, you know, close to Georgia, almost home. So we got loads booked for next week already. So, like, hey, man, I'm blessed. Y'all done seen the good, the bad, the ugly, the hard times. Um... And I want to touch on again, once I get this load unloaded and get my load factor, I want to touch on again, man, the pros and cons, the good and the bad of having brokers over dispatchers and dispatchers over brokers. I'm going to tell you the, you know, the perks of, of having both. But, you know, me, I, I'm loving both of them, y'all. So, uh, what the hell is this, man? Yeah, I don't know these numbers. So I, let me get back at y'all. Let me answer some of these calls. Yeah, I'll get back at y'all. Yes, get it, baby. Superset Transport. Hey, what's happening? Man, I gotta stop doing this, man. This shit is not healthy. It ain't healthy, man. I, I haven't eaten anything. I haven't drank anything. I just got this second load off. Man, I'm finna go somewhere and kick my feet up, man. Eat me some real good me something real good man and stay on down here and i get up in the morning head on up towards orlando skeet where you at man skeet i'm being your ass to the punch where you at skeet you out there bsing man we rocking and rolling around right here jack but yeah man skeet rocking and rolling man i'm beating him to the punch though man uh, so like I said, we both got something going on tomorrow. He got something from South Carolina, Florida. I got, well, he got something from North Carolina, Florida. I got something from Florida to South Carolina. So that might, that may conclude our week, man. That, that'll be the end of our week. Um, we got work waiting on us for next week, man. It's plentiful. Um, um, I guess my, um, my, my, my primary broker y'all I've been dealing with for so long. I guess you I guess he catching a little whiff of uh, 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 the trucks, man, especially Skeet, been moving along without him. Every time he's trying to see where Skeet at, hey, he here now, he here now. So he know I've been rocking with somebody else. I ain't, you know, this is my business. I ain't had to have that conversation with him, but he felt it. So he telling me, you know, everything breaking through on the end, the rate's about to get better, and he really appreciate me sending me a text message, man. I would put it on him. They sent me a, a nice little text message, let me know, appreciate me, and the rate's gonna get better for me. And I've been rocking and rolling, man. So, um, the broker and uh, dispatch, you know, um, comparison, I wouldn't leave one for, they go skeet, y'all. He called him, call him right back. I wouldn't put one down for the other one, man. They work, they running hand in hand, man. Um, a broker that stepped up this week, had me rocking and rolling, got us some, 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 some good sweet loads for next week already. And, uh, they both got their pros and cons to me, man. Uh, the dispatcher, he can touch everything. But you also will have some hiccups with dispatching for sakes, for instance. Let me make sure I'm going the right way, y'all, so I can talk to y'all. For instance, uh, we had a load we tried to book last week. He was going to book it, or this week, a couple of days ago. Um, we didn't want to go through it. The dead head was too long, so they sent over uh, to agree, uh, uh, you know, you want to take it or not. And we he hit decline. But 
the actual shipper contact me, the broker contact me, was mad. Like they waiting on us to pick the load up. But you know, the dispatcher say, I hit the client, you got the email, you know, woo woo. But the broker's like, yeah, I'm gonna put you down as, you know, I guess put my company down as, you know, put a negative remark on my company, but it's not my. So those are the hiccups you'll get from dispatching, it, 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 from a dispatcher. It can be some um, miscommunications along the way. We're dealing with dispatching, but the dispatcher gonna get a whole lot of work done for you. But dealing with directly with the broker, we talked about this load, we locked in on this load, it's not gonna be, you know, it, everything, it, it, it be more smooth, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, they got their pros and their cons, I like both, and I'm, and I'm gonna keep rocking with both, man. So that's, you, you build your relationship, I'm building my relationship with the dispatch, we chop it up, you know what I like, know what I go for, and, 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 and you know what it is. No, no, no what not to try me already. No what not to try me with. So that what's going on, man. Let me call Skeet back, man. I'm finna kick my feet up. Um, tomorrow we're gonna conclude our week, man. When we get these loads tomorrow and get them to where they gotta go, man. We we gonna get us a little rest. We got a full roster tomorrow, man. I mean next week. We got a full schedule next week, y'all. So um, let me find somewhere, man. I can kick my feet up, man. Get me some good eat. Call Skeet back. Y'all know what it is, man. We truck traveling everything the super set way man y'all please keep coming man keep hitting that like button man share man share this man tell a friend to tell a friend man we getting it in jack so um i get back with y'all man y'all we gonna we gonna keep burning these tires up me and skeet need some tires though we gonna get all the way out these things man tires high man yeah you know i mean but we gonna get some before it's time to get some so it is what it is man y'all hold tight man let's get it Yeah, skeeted back, man. I'm in uh, North Carolina. Uh, road run skeeted back. I'm in North Carolina. Picked up uh, two loads. They load one load going to Red Austin, one load going to, to Orlando. I'm all scrapped down real good. You know what I'm saying? I checked my load. My, my load. My scrap secure. Everything secure. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to head up, head up out of home. I'm on the way to Florida, y'all. I get with y'all in the fruit minute when I touch down. Good morning, good morning, my truck trappers and my truck trapettes, man. My siren get to holler at y'all when I left from where I was in um, Homestead. I left this morning, so y'all can see where I'm at. I'm trying to make it work, man. Look how slow this thing is. Been here for a minute, man, so I ain't gonna be able to fill up. I'm just gonna get what I can get. Get on up out of there. So, real big toy right now. Looking good. Yeah, I gotta try to work my move up out of here too, man. Mess, mess my angles up out of here and get up out of here. So uh, this is what we got going, man. Uh, that load skeet picked up, um, picking up this morning that, that we grabbed for him for yesterday. It's a one pick, two stop. He's stopping, he's coming from um, North Carolina. He's stopping one in Valdosta. And um, the next stop gonna be Orlando, two light light snacks um they 700 pounds each they going to a load um this load i'm grabbing um coming from by lakeland like mid florida um it's going to south carolina so it's gonna like i like i said before it's gonna take me um two hours away from home when i drop in the morning so y'all know what it is man we we, we steady moving man y'all see i'm eating pizza a racetrack pizza for breakfast, man. I hate when I can't get no good breakfast. But I'm finna stop this pump, man. It look how slow. I, I didn't use the bathroom, got something to eat. Damn near finished, in. This mother pumping slow, man. So I gotta work my from there, my way up out of here while I got a little angle. So y'all know what it is, man. See what Skeet got going on. I ain't heard from him this morning. I know he up rocking and rolling. Um, We got a round trip locked in for next week, man. I think Skeet gonna go on and take it. Cause it'll be what the fuck wrong with you, Betty? Come over here, Jesse. Where the hell y'all come from? You ain't looking over here. I ain't got nothing for you, Jack. Yes, I do. I'm just lying. There you go. What the hell that? Where you at, buddy? Feed the ducks, man. Ducks. 
Yeah, yeah, that's what we got going on, man. We finna on. We finna get rolling. Y'all got to go ahead. Y'all got to Don't kill no duck now. <laughs> yeah. These duck coming out. They almost. Man, look at them. They ain't got nothing for you, Jack. It's my wide open. I don't know where they come from. But, yeah, let me go on and stop this pump, man. I can at least try to let it pump to 50, man. It's just at 43. Y'all look at like animals. I get y'all the fuck away from me. I ain't got nothing left. Let me see. Get you a piece. I didn't feed everybody up. Look at it. He waiting on here. Look, y'all. He waiting on here. There you go, buddy. I'm going to try to take his food, man. I ain't got nothing left, man. Go on, on, on now. Go on, on, on. <laughs> hey, man. Trying to entertain y'all a little bit, man. But that's what it is, man. Um, Yeah, we got some set up for next week. Uh, I think this load going to be closer to Ski Owl. Um, east west of Atlanta. And they pick up in Alabama, and it's a we 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 finally got a round trip. So where he picking up at? Uh, he dropping off in Florida, exactly where he picking up at. He gonna pick up right where he drop off and drop right back off another load right where he picking back up at, man. Hey man, chill out, man. So that's what we got going on, man. Um, uh, like I said, I got a tip missing yesterday from a broker, man. Him, him, him telling me he really appreciate me, made me feel pretty good, man. I've been, like I told y'all, man, I've been really weathering the storm for real. And he know what I done been through when the rates were jacked up. And, you know, and me crying about insurance rate went up and gas prices. I, I, I stood in there, man. I had a little capital to play with. Y'all gone on, gone, gone. There too many of y'all now. Let me stop my pump. Go on. Get, get. Look at him. they deep now, y'all. Go. Get on for y'all attack me. Get one of y'all ass out here. Get on. Yeah, so um he telling me the rates, the rates, the rates about to go up. The rates should be pretty good for me. Um he been he been giving me better rates than what's been going on throughout the down season, man. I feel like now, man, I deserve to give myself a raise, man. That's what we call it, man. I'm gonna give myself a raise. So me giving myself a raise, I'm gonna try to stick to a rate per mile depending on what the load is i'm gonna stick to a rate per mile and not go under it and start locking in on old rates man versus what i've been on taking so it's time for me to give myself a raid man i deserve it so um that's what it is man i'm chop it up with y'all show y'all this little snack i'm picking up it ain't nothing but a thousand pounds man so let me finesse my way up out this little gas station man i'm gonna let y'all man we truck trapping baby yeah i just arrived gang one of them spots too that go to the weight scale before you get before you enter she ain't tell me how to get on it though but yeah this is a concrete place i'm picking up a thousand pounds worth of concrete excuse my windshield again bulb splatter no no um tart y'all see them slabs of concrete i gotta work my way on to the back see i gotta make this one left so. Yeah, this this thousand pound snack, y'all. Uh, typically, I would have been looking for something else to go with it, but I need to get this thing dropped off in South Carolina in the morning so I can head on back home, man. And you know, it's the end of the week, but y'all see what's going on. I guess this is where they, yeah, this is where they make the concrete at. I got the little crane over there. That's how I be at the railroad. The crane slide over the track. Is it how they make the concrete, y'all? Exactly. Showing y'all what it is, man. Y'all a little view of what I be pulling up to. See that dead end, then make a left. Then make another left. I'm gonna send somebody back here. That's what it is, man. Let me see these. Might be too little. Yeah, they're gonna be some small, gang, okay? because it's a thousand pounds, man. So. Let me get the thing loaded up so I can strap and go. Yeah, they got somebody already back here. All right, we truck trapping, baby. That's what it is, man. Um, I'll holler at y'all in the morning. Uh, if I got something interesting to talk about that be on my little brain, to share with y'all about the truck game. It is what it is, man. Funny thing.
things up some more. Let me see what buddy gonna do. He need to make this level wet. Alright, let's get it. They go on there for a little, y'all. Let's get it. Yup. Yeah, this is what we got going on, man. This all it is. I thought it was three pieces. I said, Migo, that's it. Yeah, it's just this one long piece. He said, this make three. This one board here and one board there. They, they just put it on the paperwork. But this all it is, gang. I can strap and go. Throw two straps over it. Uh, I'm going to use my edge protector too. So I already need some god dang on straps. I don't want that to cut. Rip my straps on, though. So that's what we got going on, gang, man. I'm on the line with Skeet now, man. He say, uh... Skeet say we got to get them tanks, man. He say we got to get them tanks on the back of our truck, man. These folks driving 13, 14 hours without a fill-up, man. Because we be catching some cheap gas stations that be having real cheap gas. And once we just fill our truck up, by the time we make it to another gas station, gas be back $5. So it's best to go on and get the tank. We'll make our money back off just saving dollars and cents off the, the cheap gas we find and filling up both tanks. So we'll, it'll, it'll, it'll pay for itself. So that's what we got going on, gang, man. We truck traffic, man. Everything the super set way, man. Let's get it. Road run skeet in Augusta, man. I had a pullover. I had a broken belt in my tie. You know what I'm saying? I had them burnt them wheels up. So I'm putting a, I'm putting my old one back on. You know what I'm saying? I had a used tie with me. So I'm putting that on to get me off the road because I can make my trip. I'm, I'm heading to Florida. You know what I'm saying? Y'all see the movement, man. I had a jacket. Jack the truck up myself, take the tie, roll the tie in the shop, and let them break it down the balance for me, mount and balance for me. But man, when I when I get done with that, I'm gonna put the tie back on myself, you know what I'm saying? Roll run ski, always working. Yeah, yeah, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. See what's going on, man? I'm gonna show y'all what's going on, man. Mid trip, man. Y'all see what's going on. Got tired of eating all that pizza, y'all thought I went on. Old long horn lamb chop. Uh, Parmesan crusted mushroom. Y'all know what it is. I just got off the phone, one of my OG. We going back and forth. Y'all remember, remember Miss Winners? He telling me Miss Winner got better center bun than the center bun. What? No. PT. No, they don't, man. We just went back and forth for 30 minutes, man. So much you a sweet connoisseur. I am too. I've been knocking it down. So what y'all think? What y'all think, man? If y'all know about Miss Winner's chicken that sold the, the, um, the cinnamon, what, what, the, the cinnamon roll, what's best? The cinnamon or Miss Winner's cinnamon? Cinnamon roll. I'm finna fire these up, though. Y'all just filled up, man. We got 397 at this ray track, so that's all right. I just rolled past a part of, I don't know what part of Florida I was at the top. Seen a little gas station, man. That diesel was $5.97, bro. $6. That's unbelievable, man. That gas station need to be shut down immediately. Now, immediately. That way. That way going on. I was just showing y'all my little snack right quick, man. I'm finna go in here and warm my food up. They better not say nothing to me, neither. I done got y'all gas. I've been buying y'all drinks all morning. Ate y'all regular pizza. Y'all finna let me warm this good shit up, though. Y'all hold tight, man. Let's get it. Here we go, gang. I'm here at drop off, man. I'm here at drop off. Y'all see what's going on. Y'all will be surprised at the importance of, of certain loads we take. Go y'all around us, man. They work another concrete place. Y'all will be surprised at the importance of, of some of these loads, man. They look like just a, 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 con a concrete slab to us, but man. That man said he been waiting on this bag. He said, I've been waiting on this bag, boy. <laughs> he been waiting on it, so. This what we got going, about to get unloaded. Oh, uh, then my last stop, then my last drop. I'm an hour and 45 minutes away from home. I'm at a part of South Carolina. Um, let me stop this thing, man. I know it. Uh, I'm an hour, 45 minutes away from home, gang. So I'm gonna take it on in. Just talk to Skeet, y'all. Y'all to see him rocking the road. And I think I might, I may have beat him to the drop this morning. He had his first drop. He had a one pick, two drop. Like I said, going down, going down to Florida. I guess he got to get a fork, a fork lift with some longer forks. Uh, his first drop is in uh, Valdosta, Georgia. Then he finna shoot on down to Orlando, drop that load, and he gonna 
come on around, man. He got some, he got some loads waiting on him. Two, he gonna get started next week. He already got loads waiting on him, man. So, hey, man, we didn't weather the storm. This shit is plentiful, man. You know what I'm saying? So, they say it's part of the life. They say only the strong survive, man. We didn't hear it in the road. Y'all didn't see me crying, man. And now, oh, he get, oh, he went and got another fort. Put some more forts on it. Like five. Blade. Look like is yeah, that the same one? There you go. Alright y'all, let me go get these wood blocks off this thing and I'm gone, man. Y'all know what it is, man. We truck trapping, baby. Everything the super set way, man. Please keep coming, man. I will get back with y'all. Y'all see I'll be working too. Once I get to sit behind that office. Yeah, that, that, that was yours too. Once I get to sit behind that office, man, I can orchestrate and talk to y'all a, a little more, man. But sometimes I be working, gang. I can't, you know, reply to everything um, in a timely manner. Just be a lot going on. So I, Cause I'm working myself and I'm I'm playing like five position right now. I'm the cameraman, <laughs> I'm everything. But y'all know what it is, man. We truck trapping, baby, let's get it. Truck trappers and truck trappers, man. I know I might look crazy for one. I just left the gym. Just left the gym, man. I know I went to work out, but I ended up playing about eight games of basketball. I'm spent. But uh, long story short, short story long, gang. I'm just leaving uh, this place called Heart Tarts in Stone Mountain where I get all my equipment from. For one game, Inflation is a inflation is a mug, but inflation is crazy. Like I looked at my old receipts of some of the stuff I paid for the um when I first started. The the straps, the the four by thirty straps were like twelve fifty. They seventeen dollars now. So the um what you call it? <laughs> the uh, uh uh not the ratchet, but the um the winch. The strap winch that go on the side of the trailer. I looked at my old receipts, I paid nineteen dollars a piece for those uh those uh those ratchet those those uh my brain gone y'all i paid 19 dollars a piece for those winch those strap winches so i called the place to see what the price it was they want 38 dollars now they have doubled yeah i'm in door they have doubled the price so i'm sitting there um heart tarts uh waiting on my stuff y'all i can't make this up man old dude walked in here y'all see that rig it's a T680. Y'all, I hope y'all can see the red. Y'all see the red. Um, he walked in there and showed me um, a code on his phone. It says shut the engine down immediately, man. I was, he said, you might know what this is. He been saying he been doing trucking 31 years or something like that. He's 61. Um, so I was like, I couldn't even tell you about, man. He said, yeah, man, I just, uh, my wife just flew me from Houston, flew me down here to pick up this truck from a dealer. He just bought this truck from a dealership. He ain't even made it nowhere but here to this to the place to pick up some some equipment and it it throwing that cold. So now he got to sit down here longer to figure out what it is. So I was just telling him, I said, "Ball man, I was just talking about that I, um that very thing right there on my page." 
about the 18 wheelers. Like they never know what's wrong with it. Every it seemed like every 18 wheeler, a dealership got to sell. Somebody got out of that truck for a reason. And I told me better hope it's not the death system. Cause they said that death system costs so much. Like these people are not fixing these trucks properly. I think the 18 wheelers, they are not fixing it. They are patching them up. And you and you hauling all this this heavy freight. And the, and the truck's going back out, man. I'm telling y'all, gang. Anybody got an 18 wheel and they run, you're doing pretty good. I've been seeing more people have more problems out of 18 wheelers than anything. Like I always say, once you go to bottom 18 wheeler, man, you don't know what's wrong with them. Somebody traded it in for something. Now, if you catch uh, somebody selling 18 wheeler just because they up, they up, they updating their, you know, their their freight, their uh, their fleet to newer trucks, but a lot of times these people jumping out jumping out them trucks for a reason, man. That's what I that's what I think. That's my take, man. So it's just like every everywhere I go, every situation, every every conversation, somebody having a problem. This man walked right in here. Right in here, man. And asked me about a code. He just got this truck. Not he just got this truck. He say 10, 10, 20 minutes away from where he, where we was at this um at this warehouse. So I don't know, gang. Maybe y'all can tell me something different, man. Maybe y'all know a better mechanic that, 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 hey, man, he truck got them, got mysterious, mysterious underlying issues all over, man. So for right now, y'all, I'm going to stay hot shot. So I run this bag up, man. I'm going electric, man, and hope that thing work all right. But I ain't messing with these truck, man. I'm scared of them. I didn't watch truck take folks out of business, man. So I don't know their situation with this truck. I hope the dealership fix it. No limit law. Ain't nothing you can do. Try to get a lawyer all you want. Once you leave, leave the lot with that truck, your ass stuck with it. You did. So that's what it is, man. We still truck trapping, man. Um, Got my boy Skeet going out. He got a round trip on a load pickup, man. I know y'all may have seen. So this is not my GoPro. I know it look crazy, y'all. This is my phone. I left my GoPro at home because I went to the gym. So I know I'm looking crazy on here right now. Yeah, so Skeet got a round trip, man, picking some up in Alabama, going down to Florida and picking back up in Florida from that very location, taking it back to Alabama. So he got he got um he got a little easy little snack, little nice little work waiting on him. Um his phone ran out of storage, so I know y'all see before this a lot of footage that y'all not gonna see when Skeet was out doing his thing, man. Skeet, it's a lot of footage he missed, man. He was trying to record from his other phone. Damn, which way to go? Yeah, he was trying to record from his other phone, and it and it, it, it just too choppy and too blurry. It ain't gonna work. So that what it is, man. We truck trapping, man. We are gonna keep truck trapping, man, till we keep burning these wheels up, man. We gonna put some more back. We burning trailer wheel, wheels and goddamn truck wheels up. We burning them up, Jack. Y'all keep liking, commenting, and subscribing, man. Keep motivating me to keep dropping their content so I can motivate y'all to get in trucking or stay in trucking. Y'all know what it is, man. Let's get it. Go run speak back. Getting load up in Alabama, man. Y'all see what's going on. Full load, round trip. Uh, this is a lot of Alabama run. This is Florida run. You know what I'm saying? Round trip. It mean I'm coming right back here when I drop that off. I'm coming back with another load. You know what I'm saying? I'm loaded down. Y'all see the movement. Go run speak. I see what's going on in the morning, man. I ain't playing no game. Get into that big bag, you know what I'm saying? Get into that bag, you know what I'm saying? Staying 10 toes down, man. Humming with it and everything. Humming it all. You know what I'm saying? Staying down. Then the got down, scrap all this stuff down. Put the chains on now. Let me get back with y'all in the crew, man, when I get everything chained down and load. Load it down. And make sure the load secure. And get back with y'all in three minutes. Ski the back, man. Ski the done. Strapping it low, man. Roll run ski. This roll run ski. Gonna head to Alabama. Uh, I'm in Alabama right now. I'm heading to Florida. Uh, round trip. Y'all see what's going on? Scrap down the load. The load secure. Everything secure. I'm in the rock and roll. Hit this slab. Y'all already know what time it is, man. Ski got a uh, load to the to the front, to the rear. Y'all see how I'm coming. Y'all know what the fuck going on, though. Y'all see what the fuck going on. Road run Ski made it uh, Florida, man. I did a Alabama run to Florida, man. 
Your way don't have no road run ski though. Man, I bet I came in this gate. Cause the other gate was blocked by some 18 wheelers and the crane and stuff. I came down here and I had to turn around. When I turned around, man, how about the steering thing broke? The steering collar thing broke, man. A little Pete right here. A whole steering. Thing scraped. That thing broke out when roll run the skeet with man. Bagged up and turned around, it just popped. Boom. Now I'm stuck. I'm stuck down here in Florida, man. I'm trying to find a mechanic. I might have to call the dealership to get that part. I don't really know. But I'm trying to get it done. So now I gotta drop the whole load and let one of the guys on the uh the gate three come down here and get my whole freight, get my trailer. And get the freight over there. You know what I'm saying? Cause it was on the eight o'clock apartment. Other thing about it, I had a round trip. I had a round trip to come all the way back to uh Florida to Alabama, man. So now I'm finna drop the trailer. The guy finna come over here and hook the whole load up. Hey. Drop the load out, man. Y'all see what's going on early. Early goddamn Wednesday morning. That way on the road, run the skeet, man. Get back with y'all in three minutes. Road, run the skeet, man. Back, I'm at uh, Florida right now. Look at that. Alabama load to Florida run. You know what I'm saying? I broke my pivot arm this morning. So I'm broke down right now. Again, I loaded. You know what I'm saying? I'm broke down and getting loaded at the same time. Loaded. So they gotta take this this stuff over to the other building. I'm on the other side. I'm at the it's the same building, but I'm at the wrong gate. So I turned around. I was doing my turn turn around, going back out the gate this morning. Got two 18 wheelers in my way that morning when I was trying to come in the, the right gate. And I broke down at the wrong gate, trying to turn around, come back out of him to go into the right gate. I broke down, so I got to get, uh, find somebody to put their pivot arm on, but me. Get back with y'all in a few minutes, man. Roll on the street, still getting on low, still working right down. So right now, they unloaded my trailer and put it on the, on the 18-wheeler, man. That's what they got to do. They had to outload me and put that freight on the 18 wheel to get the job done. Here we go, man. Skeeting, road runner skeeting uh, Co by Cocoa Beach in Florida. Uh, my pip, my pip all uh, had broke on my truck. So I got a tow truck coming out here to get me. I got the crane unloading me in the back. I got the crane out here unloading me on the back end, get my back end unloaded. You know what I'm saying? Good thing I went on the side of the road and then when it happened, I was right here where the, uh, where I actually dropped the load at. I'm right here where I'm supposed to be dropping the load at. So everything, it turned out good. I ain't on the side of the road. I got the tow truck on the way. Finna go to Ford dealership. Drop the truck out of Ford dealership. Finna get it fit. You know what I'm saying? So, deal with a little man. Roll around the ski. I'm getting y'all, I'm getting y'all the, the, uh, the brew right here, man. I'm getting y'all the, the outside to the inside, man. Where they go like, man, out here on this road, man. Road on the street, man. I'm getting, I'm getting y'all the butt nigga true, man. Straight up and down, man. No cut on it. It's like, you know what I'm saying? The inside to the outside, man. 
the outside to the inside, man. Ain't no cut on it, man. No cut on They had to bring the crane to unload, man. <laughs> Still working. This is a button nigga finna get the paperwork signed real quick. Have a good one. All right. Toe Talk just dropped me out, man. I ain't even get this thing right here. Toe Talk just dropped me out. You know what I'm saying? I'm at Ford dealership. You know what I'm saying? Y'all see what's going on. They dropped me out. 10 minutes down the street. Finna get this pimp on, put it on. I'm just waiting on, waiting on to get back with me. That's all, folks.